And last but not least, let's talk about Godzilla X Kong, the new Monk. empire. Mm-hmm. So, pre ramble time, right? And Ricardo, if you don't mind, why to do these substances, right? Sure. So, once upon a time, right, back in back in 2021, right, you know, we were home, right, you know, lockdowns and all that kind of stuff, right? So, yeah, big trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong come out, and I, I was loving it. But I was like, we again, we, we, you know, like, like our, our cinema is going to be open so we could get to see us? No. So we had to wait for it to come out, you know, online. Well, I should say, because you have to remember once upon a time, yeah, there was something called HBO Max, right? So, yeah, you know, instead of movies coming out, well, I should say movies came out theatrically and then like either the same day or day afterwards or a week afterwards, yeah, it would come out on HBO Max, right? So, yeah, big movies like The Suicide Squad, I end up watching Home. And this one in particular, I watch it in my house, right? And that, to me, was the biggest letdown of that movie. Just the fact that I had to watch it in my house, right? But yeah, um, now, so long story short, Godzilla vs. Kong was a guilty pleasure for me. Um, yeah. I had a lot of fun with it, though. It was it was goofy shit, but it was my kind of goofy shit. Um, it, 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 capped a, it, it lived up to the hype of having these two titans square off as well. Um, I love, like, just in retrospect, how they, they were teasing with Mechagodzilla. Like, everybody's like, who, what is that? Oh, is that Mechagodzilla? And then, like, the movie come out and say, yes, it is Mechagodzilla, right? Deal with it, right? And, yeah, I mean, the, well, I mean, just the, the encounters that the two characters had were fantastic when they would fight each other, and especially in the finale where they would together to take down Mechagodzilla, right? I actually recapped this the day before watching Godzilla X Kong, though, and I was still blown away by it, right? Again, I had to watch in my house, but still, I had a lot of fun with this, right? And, yeah, you know, it, it made for a great review that we did um, back in 2021. Um, we also did a retrospect review of King Kong vs. Godzilla. That'll be the Toho film from 1962. So just kind of fun, kind of comparing the two of them, right? And then, well, you know, um, earlier this year, you know, we uh, we, we got Mon- uh, Monarch, right? Um, which was a really solid show. I don't know if you if you saw it as yet, Ricardo, but it's a solid, you know, um, you know, a solid series in the whole monster verse, right? One thing it did, it just kind of gave us a reason to care about the monsters, right? Sorry, to care about the humans, right? Yeah. And it was more fleshing out the the world of Godzilla, right? But yeah, near the end, or I should say the final moment, sorry to spoil it, yeah, that's where they incorporate Kong into the story, right? Finally. So right. Um, I, I, I hope that we do get a second scene that they, they more touch on Kong, right? But it was cool seeing the beginnings, right? You know, the beginnings of Monarch and how they all relate to this whole Godzilla mess in the first piece, right? And Kong as well, right? right. So yeah, Godzilla X Kong came out, trailer drop. You know, we laughed at how goofy it was, but it was like, all right, it's, it's, it's our kind of goofy, right? This a shot yeah. of the two of them running together was laughable, but I was like, you know what? Yeah. This is what it is. This is what it needs to be, right? Um, okay, yeah, it, it had to build off of just the, the, the gargantuan vibe of the last one, right? It had to go big or go home, right? And it's great that it's from Warner Brothers. I'll talk about that too in terms of the, the visual effects, right? Because, yeah, you know, if it's one thing I love about Warner Bros, but when they go big, when they swing, they swing, boy, right? So, like, as, as goofy and silly as, and as over the top and ridiculous as everything is seen here, should look great. Should look fantastic, right? And same thing I must say about this, right? Um, but you know, I was hearing some iffy things about it early on too. But I was like, you know what? I kind of know what to expect from these shoes anyway, so I just wanna enjoy myself and just see gigantic creatures, you know, fight each other or fight alongside each other, and you know, just do what they had to do, right? And the most important thing about it, and I'll shut up here is that I get to see this on a big screen because, you know, in cinema, right. to me, this is where you need to see these shows. You need to experience it in a big screen. You need to experience it with, you know, um, a great sound system and not like my sound bar that I have here, right, at home, right? You need to you need to get that experience, even though, yes, it's, it's, it's goofy shit, right? Unless you are a huge, huge, huge fan of, of kaiju films and you just willing to let the goofiness slide and you just enjoy it for what it is, right? So it's, it's like that. So, Ricardo, before we jump into Godzilla X Kong, um, you know, want to give you quick thoughts on versus Kong, Godzilla versus Kong. Right, yeah, I remember being a little underwhelmed by it, um, as it was. I'll admit, I probably, I, pro- I probably would have uh, enjoyed more if um, we saw it in, in a big screen, you know, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I, I still think my personal favorite in the franchise is still King of the Monsters. Uh, I don't know, you know, you know, uh, Godzilla was double nuked up on a Thursday afternoon and that. And, oh yeah, you know, yeah. I, yeah. I, um, and, and I just to touch on that, that is the most Toho of 
of all the of all the monsters films thus far, you know, like yeah. that that literally is a destroy all monsters film. Is a re- It's almost it feels like a like a like a destroy yeah, exactly. all monsters remake, you know. Yeah, exactly. And I I, I just I just thought um that, that 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 one just like works so much better for me. While it's Kong Kong, alright, but it just didn't rope me in as much. But I'll admit, if I saw Godzilla vs Kong in theaters, I might enjoy it as more. I'm not sure, right? It is is it is what it is. But whatever. Uh, but yeah, I um. I just I just had a uh, a lot of fun with this one. It's just it's really goofy. You know, it remind me of it remind me of Pacific Rim Uprising, um, a little bit. Oh like yes, just, yes, 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 yes. Really um, silly it, plot, but but it does the thing that I like where it just it does the action just wild and you just get multiple you know figures involved. Blah blah blah. blah exactly. So so Sp- speaking of, yeah. of Pacific Rim, right? Uh, I was reminded about this with Godzilla vs Kong, right? The second fight that they have in in Hong Kong, right? And we had to talk about yeah, we, yes. we, we had to talk about collateral collateral damage, right? Yeah, right. It, it 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 is heavily inspired by by Pacific Rim, right? But again, right. it's from Warner Bros. So you know they know what they're doing, right? But what they do so well with with Pacific Rim and this, right? They know the material well, right? Look, yeah. it's two monsters fighting. Let me not do the oh, it, we hiding it in shadows. No, let me have it in a near lit city. So you've seen yep. everything. You've seen all the details. You've seen everything. We're not going to hide it in no shadow or not like that, right? So yeah, it, it makes it look stylish as all hell, but it works. It adds to the sto- It adds to the feel of what's going on. It adds to the sensationalism of it, right? It works right. in, Pacif- in Pacific Rim and the sequel, so they do it again in Godzilla vs. Kong. And it works. I love that. I love that fight. See, yep. by the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And they, they make it work for it. So uh, in, this, in this, we guess, well, you know, they just get into the story on this one. Uh, you know, Kong have to deal with some monk, real monkey shenanigans by involving himself, taking on something called Scar King. Uh, that's the name of the character, right? Scar King. Uh, he's like the mean bad guy, and Scar King controlling another dinosaur who's a freeze dinosaur, apparently. And he have a whip, and he can control that, but he have some devices allow him to do that. I think it's like part of his, part of the horns or whatever it is. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a, a, a new power bully. So, Godzilla, so Kong kind of comes to Godzilla to need some help because Scar King is a bigger problem. And that's it. Really simple. You know, I forget what the actual, like, other things are because you don't really need to remember the product of this. And that's about it. Um, why this works, I think, so well for me personally is that they do, they, they surprisingly do the thing that I thought they couldn't do, which is they have monkey shenanigans and animals, but they're doing talking. So they really nailed the Planted the Apes stuff, like I felt, because Scar King kind of reminds me of Cobra from Dawn the Planted Apes, right? A little bit, right? Uh, and yeah, it's that. They, they just make it really work. I uh, had a lot of fun with it. You know, action and big set pieces. As I say, you know, Godzilla comes in and he's really good. I say Godzilla double nuked up on a Tuesday afternoon, if you get a reference. Mm-hmm. And it's not like, too much to think about. Like, it's just really simple. It's It caters to the kid stuff. Um, the stuff with well, okay, you know this this joke gonna be a lot better last week, but you know the Diddy Kong reference is really funny. Um, <laughs> oh God, I know you guys see yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's, it's about that, and but they, they make it they make it work for what it is. Like it's it's it is really like it it caters to to simple, but the action is is why it works, and it just really surprisingly solid special effects and 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 all that looks great. It is very silly. I'm not saying it it's serious. It's not Godzilla minus one. That's fine. You know, Godzilla Man is one is its own thing. It's a masterpiece of winner Oscar. Good. This is different. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this. Um, all things considered, it's just it's just it it all admittedly is a kind of turn off your brain kind of thing. And it's, it's the characters just goofing about and you know, Brian Tyler Harry Henry being a goofball most of the movie, kind of being thing, uh being being comic relief and so on and so forth. And I I, I um couldn't be mad at any of this. I I just thought it just it was fun, it was funny. They made they made the villain work, and why I, I think the big thing why it works is that the human stuff is not as present, but it make they surprisingly make the animal drama stuff work with, because none of the characters talking is is it's all body language and and that kind of stuff, right? And they, they make that work for it is especially the part with with, with Godzilla and um when they fought, fought in, the, in Egypt, yeah, that stuff, yeah, it's all of that. And, they, and yeah, sorry to say, they, they, these movies just. Um, surprisingly disturbing with, with the amount of collateral damage like dude they destroyed the pyramid straight in the hell oh, but, well, no, well, well, well to be fair spot, slight spoiler I think there were two left <laughs> there were two but left it, you know. but, it is, but they it, destroyed the sphinx is, they destroyed the sphinx yeah, yeah, yeah. but, but the, whole point, the whole point is that is, 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 is these animals you know supposed to these creatures these titans or whatever it is um, 
you know, they, we we kind of mean less to them anyway. Yeah, they should have destroyed Rio. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Well, well, Rio gone. Well, well, well Tango ta- 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 the um the statue still there. Like, right. I, 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 I would have, I would have felt very, very disheartened if if that statue right, got right, destroyed. Right, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, but they do that. They do that on, on Easter weekend. They don't nah, do that. Nah, nah, Easter nah. <laughs> nah. Exactly. Yeah. Easter weekend. They don't do that shit. But yeah, uh, but yeah, surprise. One small little, little detail tip, but it's like, oh yeah, the characters, they, they, they barbed us. So I, I would, I see. Yeah, Bajan Bajan shout out, right? Shout out from Bajan. I I, I I laugh when I see that. I actually have a Bajan yeah, yeah, friend. Yeah. I, I make the joke with my friend who, or well, my friends who uh, who I went with to see show. I will tell him yeah. go see this, and then you tell yeah. her, does this look like Bajan to see you? And he'd be like, hell no. <laughs> yeah, well, but Bajan does have Bajan. But that's the little the little corner. That is the future. Well, but it's well. Yeah, sure. mm, yeah. Whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they, it not, it not super to write to him about, and I didn't, I didn't like this as much as uh, King of the Monsters, but I still like this a lot. Uh, and it, it just, you know, for what he was trying to do and, and say it, it work. It's simple. They keep it simple. It's fun. It gonna make money. Uh, you know. Yeah. It, you know, the, the Hollywood, the, 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 the summer, the summer kind of properly start here with this, this probably first summer blockbuster proper. Proper summer start officially, right? You know, yeah. first kind of big movie for the year kind of thing, like genuine big movie, not bullshit at Ghostbusters. Like, oh, oh yes, well, well, which yeah. which I still haven't seen and still not going to see it. it. it it's I don't summer. care. Yeah, I don't care. It's real hard for me to care. So right. well, I'll, I'll watch it eventually when it, well, when it come in when it come in digital. I don't care. Well, yeah. Right, so anyway. so 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 fun fact, right? Um, you know, because yeah. is is a narrative that we ran with, but you know, I just dropping this. It's kind of a dumb joke, but it's actually a real fact, right? So you know, we talk about you know Godzilla minus one one best visual effects, right? So yeah. oh, Godzilla out of the out of the dynamic duo of Godzilla and Kong actually actually have an Oscar under the, under its belt, right? But actually, no, Kong actually has uh, and an actually has three Oscars on this belt. Remember, right. there's a film back in 2005 called King Kong, which I absolutely love from a right, boy that Peter one, Jackson. Yeah, that, one Oscar, yeah. that one three yeah. Oscars, right? Uh, including right. Um, best visual effects, right? So right. just letting you all know, whoever listened to this, yeah, Godzilla is the only is the only Titan to win an Oscar, right? right. Kong won one as well. Don't mind, it's for a different version of it, right? But whatever, right? Right. So about Godzilla versus uh, minus. Oh, oops, oops. Yeah. So about Godzilla X Kong, right? Um. Admittedly, I did not enjoy it as much as versus Kong, right? Reason right. being is that I felt outside of the new empire, I felt that the, this show here did not capitalize on the Godzilla X Kong. I wanted more moments. I, I thought that, you know, when they would yeah, have teamed up, it, that would have happened, you know, much sooner now, but we literally had to wait and wait yeah, and wait until the third act and then they now team up like Bro, yeah, it's a Kong movie. Do, like... Yeah, it's more, it's more, it's more Kong movie. Kong, Kong is the side character. I'm sorry, right. yeah, Godzilla is the side character in this. Yeah. yeah, which, 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 which was a letdown for me, man. Um, right. Because like with the last film, Godzilla versus Kong, right? They set up both characters as well, too, right? So right. you didn't have to wait till midway into the show for them to have the first battle, right? That's that's um you know involving the ships and whatnot, which which still which still. Which is still bad, that's in my opinion. There's a whole sequence I absolutely love, right? Um, but yeah, this one is like, all right, Godzilla charging up because he sends some threat because you know it's it's the same thing like before. He always sends his threat, so he always have to right. kind of get ready. Um, by the way, that there, there's a shot, right? They actually do it like two more times in the movie. Every time it happens, I I just be cracking up at that shit. Right? It looks so goofy. There's something about Godzilla sleeping in the Roman Colosseum. That's right. hilarious <laughs> to me, Dredd. Yeah. First time I see that, I, 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 question, I, 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 I fall out laughing, Dredd. That looks Godzilla, so funny. Godzilla, <laughs> yeah, don't think of that. Eh? Godzilla's so, so clumsy, I don't give a shit, but yet the Roman because he's still standard. I know, uh, right? Early on in this film, this man busted through bridges like if it's not, you know, he just walk it through like, like fucking yeah, bridge. Yeah. Boom, boom. And then he sees Coliseum and sleep. I really love that. But yeah, it's, uh, well, sorry about that. Um, wait, what you saying? Yeah, yeah, no, that, it's just that it's like it Godzilla doesn't give a shit, but somehow the the entire Roman because the Roman comes here completely untouched. There, so how Godzilla do this? 
He just I jumped in a, a tub hole, like a, like a cat or something. Anyway. I don't know, but that, that, that looks so funny. And they do it like two more times. And like, I just laugh at that. That's so hilarious to me, right? But yeah, um, while I really, really, really did enjoy the Kong story, right? Um, and this is where you get the new Empire aspect of things. Um, and I like that it builds off of the um, the Hollow Earth thing, right? Where, yeah, early on, in, well, if you remember from the last film, you know, this was technically him returning home. He he found the axe. I, I love, like, back then, and even see where the axe came from. It's like, yeah, that's my axe, so I take it, or if it belonged yeah. to another ape, whatever is mine now, you know? But there were still more areas of that, because it's an earth now, it's like a different earth, right? So I like right. that, oh, you know, he just stumbles onto this new tribe of apes, and that's where you get the, the well, the baby Kong character, so to speak, right? Um, and all well, these well, I did not expect the okay. Well, I, I I knew that there was going to be the villain was going to be a giant ape too, right? But I didn't expect that he was going to be the leader of the trap. I didn't see that one coming. Right, so right, right. yeah, I did yeah. not expect the planet of the apes vibes, right? So that's why I make the joke on Facebook. It, you should call this giant lizard in the planet of the apes. That's really what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a planet of the apes story, but with yeah, um, yeah. I, I felt he felt very cool about now. Dice, yeah, dice, yeah, dice. well, the Skake yeah, yeah. character. And yes, I mean, yeah, character-wise, yeah. to see we, how he looks to and moves. Yeah, he's medicine, right? I love the the sort of whip that he has. And boy, points for that bone, um, for that bone whip he have there. When I see that, I was yeah. like, all right, I fucks with that. That hat, that real hat. I love that, right? With the with the sort of like ice tip, well, the bleed, whatever it is. Oh, well, actually, is the same sort of... um. Well, the same material that, that, that Kong's axe is made from, right? The one with right, the radiation right, right, right. that you had a charge and all that kind of stuff. So it's the same thing, right? Right. I didn't expect the the um well, you know, the the the, the Godzilla opponent, if you will, the one that, that does the ice spread. I didn't see that one coming. I was like, all right, right, we doing this, you know. But all that works. I like how they also related to to the to the kid, um, you know, um, ape that he he summons on right the moments involving the two are actually really great though like you know the stuff that you see before in in other like animal shows you know it's like you know the bigger one eaten and the, the, the smaller one one piece but you don't want to ask him they do that right i, I, I thought yeah. that was really good right um all that and, and then there's some stuff surrounding well the same deaf girl from before that's gia she come back and they do this arc involving her finding her own people because they were re- um right. resumed killed you know me because there was a storm in Stull, um skull island that wiped them all out right. you know what i mean right. um and that to me um was kind of harkening back even though i'm not too familiar with the toho films yeah that was taking it back to like the the, the whole weird stuff with oh you know weird princesses and Tribes and all that kind of stuff that they used to have in the Godzilla myth. Um, well, right. apparently, like apparently connected to the ancient civilization from King of the Monsters and 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 um, Godzilla time. Um, yeah. Godzilla versus Kong. Right. Same thing. There's some some ancient civilization that supposedly tied to the, the entire Titan thing. Now. Yeah. Like, well, exactly. They, they plot device here. Yeah. I want to know. They, well, they bring in they bring in a big plot device thing as well. It's like, oh shit, this character come back because you know. That character, well, presumably died in King of the Monsters, right? Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I was, yeah. I was hoping that we could have spoiled who it is, but you know what? Let, let, let's keep it a secret, right? But when, yeah, when I, when I was, saw, when I saw, when I saw that character, um, yeah. I, again, forgive me, I'm not familiar with the Toho films, right? So I have not seen the films, the Toho films surrounding that character. But I think if I was mistaken, they used to have this weird stuff involving like this this tribe or whatever it is that used to worship it. I assume that's how it is. Right. But yeah, I was, right. I was just picking up on like this weird Toho vibes with that whole tribe sub, um, subplot, right? Um, it was kind of interesting that, that you know, we boy, Nortman, Nortman boy, Nortman, right? You know, was yeah, in this yeah, one, right? Uh, they replaced him right. with, uh, with Dan Stevens. I thought that Dan Stevens was, he was good. He, he was good. He, he was really charming and likable, though. Um, he he right. literally is the, the Chris Pratt of the story because not only right. does he talk a lot, but yeah, he, he loves rock music. He loves old school 70s rock. So you have a couple of moments where you get to play some rock music, right? There's actually one scene in particular, a little action scene that takes place in, um, in between the big set piece, right? big final fight right yeah that that was like literally felt like i was watching gardens of the galaxy right? like especially two right that are gardens two kind of vibed it if you know the scene right. you know what i talk about right but yeah i, I kind of miss not man my you know what i mean but to yeah, be yeah. fair to be fair they, they kind of try to set up a possible romance between or romantic interest kind of thing between him and rebecca hall's character who shows back up yeah but because that didn't work and because in Godzilla vs. Kong she didn't seem to care about it at all. They was just like, well, right. you know what? Let me just leave him out now. Let me, let me leave Nortman out, right? So whatever. So they just replace him, right? Um, 
But it was cool seeing Brian Tyree Henry show back up as Bernie, right? Yeah. And by the way, slight spoiler, right? So there's a moment where he's still doing the he's still doing the Titan podcast, right? And he's still doing it in the same place that he lives at, right? There's right. a the moment where a character, I'm not gonna say who, knocking on the door and he recording the podcast live. He say, Will you, "Come on, like I'm recording here." That 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 remind me so much of, of of like when I just record the podcast at home, right. dread. like you know, you're one quiet and somebody on like just interrupting. He's like, "Oh gosh, like leave me alone." I record it. You had to you had to stop everything. Yeah, boy. What what the moment when I saw that, I was like, "Yeah, that's that's that 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 hit home for me. That hit home for me, right?" But yeah, um, unfortunately, him and Rebecca's characters are basically there to do um expo- exposition. They, you know, info dumps, right? They have to kind of right. explain, oh, this is what the tribe is doing, and this is what this device is doing, and this is what this other device is doing, right? That's that's what the the, the humans, the human characters are there to do. They, they have to kind of explain what's going on, right? And I, I, I didn't mind it at times, but like, like let me just say, from the second half up to the end, I was like, oh gosh, like, I, I, I get it. Okay, but you don't need to do so much of it, right? Yeah. And I guess yeah, for me, yeah, it's a because lot, it's a lot because, of bad expo dump. Yeah, it's a lot of bad expo dump. Yeah, like you know, like oh, this is what they're gonna do, right? But yeah. this to me leads to my meanness with the film, right? Uh the all right. So as as much as I, as I love the ambition in this, right? I love when directors, right? And as you seen director from me before, before, right? Adam Wingard, right? I love when you know this, they, you know, they, they they swing, right? And they do a lot of big things, right? But they were doing so, so much in this story. Yeah, well, I'm just like, like yeah. all right, you could take out the subplot to do. You could take this out. You could take this out to do. You don't need to have yeah. all these things, though. I understand. Sequelitis. Bigger is better, right? But they, they're doing a lot, though. It's, it's, but it didn't. It wasn't overly convoluted, right? But at times, I was like, you know what? Let me just get to the fight already. Like, I don't need to right. hear about, you know... The stuff with how gravity works and you know how the earth and yeah, relates to the yeah, tribe and yeah, yeah, like just yeah. let's get to the fight. I, I I forget all that shit. You know, in yeah. the, can we get to the fight there, right? But no, like the the, the no, that, that was a good action sequence, eh? No, like, well, right. That, that's what I'm about to say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, those, those fight well, sequences. I, I, I was gonna mention as a character, <laughs> but they, they had stuff moving upside down and floating and it's like, yeah, but it vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's playing on the whole inverted gravity aspect of, of the whole right, movie, right? So Kong, I love that. Diddy Kong flying about and whatever it is. And all that yeah, well, Diddy Kong, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean, that 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 that, that sequence, that, that final fight alone, just like the last film, is worth the price of admission, though. I just right. had an absolute blast with it, right? Um, yeah. From when they were in Hollow Earth to when they were in Egypt. Um, <laughs> that stuff in Egypt was funny to me because they were just destroying yeah. uh, pyramids and leave two, you know what I mean? Yeah. But when they went to Rio, boy, because I forgot that, you know, a major aspect of the, the fight took place in Rio, right? Because it's part of the trailer. Yeah, boy, I just watching buildings destroyed. I just seen people running. I just say, like, because people died, like, like when you know. we with the whip spin it around our apartment building and rip it in half trend. Like yeah. dog, that's families yeah, we'll dog, like what's going on? Yeah, and the show <laughs> gave no craps about it at all. But yeah. it's just like yeah. nobody cares. Buildings destroy Godzilla walking through bridges because he could. And Godzilla just jumping from building to building and smashing shit, but it does not matter because about the fight, right? And the fight is excellent. Yeah. Um Again, the Warner Brothers and their 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 VFX budget, boy, they you could they spend you could tell they spend tons and tons of cash in this though, but this shit look great. Like animation wise, like yeah, just the good. visuals, not yeah. just in that fight scene, but just throughout though. The shit look amazing. Like I just oh. like what? Like you could talk for these about how convoluted and dumb the story is, boy, but the, you, you cannot say that the visual effects were not Top notch though, like again, yeah, boy. It, I, it's it's it, Warner it gone, Brothers, boy. I don't know how they do exactly. it exactly. And it gone, it gone full dumb like Transformers, but it it just it, it's fine. Like I did, again, I didn't really like I was because I was super invested in this world in this in this way, and some stuff is really good, but like other stuff is is not that great. And this this Pong for Pong is probably one of the better cinematic universes, you know, second to the MCU, right? Agreed. So yeah. It's like, this one, this one kind of goofy and silly. I ain't saying no, it feels very fast nine or fast X or one of those. It's like that. It's the same thing. You have a big set piece and it's all about the set pieces, but the story is nonsense. You know, I care. Uh, but you're not invested in, in that way anyway, so it don't matter. It's that. As I said, it's like Pacific Rim Uprising rating. I'll just give him a rating. It'll get that great of a rating because I get it. I had fun with it, but it's it kind of dumb. And compared to Kiggity Monsters, I was still on the one. Six out of ten. But it's still fine. Like it, it, you'll have a fun time 
I will admit I had a couple stags before seeing this. So is that, but you know, still, it was still hard. I, it's fun. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, for me, like to decent trade half out of five, man. Um, it, it's worth checking right. out, but it didn't stick with me as much as Godzilla vs. Kong, right? Um, just because right. of how unnecessarily convoluted the plot is, you know, what I mean, to the set up characters and acts right. or whatnot. Right, right, right. Um, not saying that they were pointless. It's just they were just doing a lot, though, like way too much, in my opinion, right? Maybe right. that would explain why Northman wasn't there, and then also uh, Millie Bobby Brown. Like I knew that she right, was going to yeah, be sure. there, but it's kind of interesting she why she well. I guess it's because, you know, she fought with Monarch, so that whole thing is done. So, like, in yeah. other words, like, Monarch doesn't really have a big part to play in this. It's just right. uh, Rebecca Hall's character and, you know, G- well, Gia and, you know, other, like, just people who working in Hollow Earth now. So, it's not so much about Monarch's involvement in all of this. Like, yes, it's still monitoring the, you know, the, the, the Titans and, yes, of course, they, 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 they can't really stop them at all, especially Godzilla when he's all nuking up and all that kind of stuff, right? But still, yeah. it, it's not really about them. So, I guess that's why Millie was not in the film, I guess, you know? But whatever. But yeah, um, the monster stuff with the, the, the Kong story was really, really good, though. It was really solid. I was yeah. surprised by this. But, I was just let down that it was not the team up that I wanted, man. We waited long right. for the team up. I, I wouldn't mind if, if like Leon or half. Like I, I thought like literally that they was gonna have like him and Kong was gonna have like a little fight early in the film or something like that, right? Or maybe midway when he was nuking up or something like that, right? But because Kong doing he whole side story stuff, it's just oh you know and you know bad guy is there doing his thing and now um and now Godzilla shows up to save the deal literally, right? Uh, by the way, that that's a spoil anything here, right? But yes, as you, as you would expect, the two of them square off and they fight it, right? I love that in this case Kong is prepared though, because yeah, if you remember, uh, be, good, be, yeah. well before they teamed up in the in the in the finale in the final fight though, yeah, yeah Godzilla, Godzilla wash him though, like wash him, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and yeah, broke his that. arm too, eh? But like in this case, Kong right. is like, nah, 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 nah. I have the upper hand on you. I have the upper arm on you, Dread. I he, like you wash him out though, right? But then a character comes in and be to basically, you know, um, to to as as a mediator, to basically to 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 tell him, no, you know, we need to team up. When I see that though, I laugh. And then you get that big yeah. white shot of them like just roaring into the air. I laugh at that. Yeah. That was so goofy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I love it. I love it. I, I love. I love the goofiness of it, though. But yeah, I, I felt we could have had more of the the tag team, right? Or just them fighting each other. We, uh, we, we, it's it's it's, a, it's just a shame that we had to wait long for them to even confront each other. Though. That that was a letdown. But I still had fun. I really enjoyed seeing it on the big screen. You know, hearing it, seeing it for myself. I don't recommend seeing it on the big screen, though. But um, honestly, for me, and I'll close this. I don't see myself watching this again on big screen. I'll just probably wait till it come out um digitally and watch it over. But I don't know. For me, it just didn't have as much steam power as um the last film. But that's not to say that it's bad or anything like that, right? But I still enjoy it. I mean, for what it is, though. And yeah, I mean, this is already shaped up to be a really, really um entertaining um you know cinematic universe though so but i'll close this though i I really don't know where the story will continue on from here though like it doesn't end like okay like this is the absolute end and we we can't go any further it just sort of stops at a certain point which is fine but it's just like i'm wondering like how they how they can even top this but i don't know i don't know where they're going to go i don't know know where they're going to go with it but but where the where again a certain character comes back I, i suspect i all i'll say is that we might be getting some godzuki shenanigans because we already had diddy kong we might be getting Godzuki if you know who that is. That's about it. 